Hello everyone. Bonjour. Welcome to our channel. And today we will speak about perfumes which you can wear for Beyonce concert. <laughs> Victoria no, because she was on a concert recently in Toronto. I'm not. I just watched her videos in Instagram. <laughs> so I have kind of imagination of the public, how the people wear, what the people wear, yeah. and the the feeling of the of the show. So we try to find something for everyone. And let's start with the perfume which I wear yeah. <laughs> for the concert. It was a Prix d'Amour, Thomas Kasmala. Yeah. So Blue this meat. yeah, this perfume is about ambroxan, mm. the, a lot of a lot of ambroxan, which is molecule, and saffron. So yeah, since it's ambroxan, not everyone can feel it. Some people are not speak to this fragrance. Yep. I think it's like something uh, too attractive. A lot yeah. of people will run, <laughs> will run after you. <laughs> because uh, it's true, because when I wear this fragrance, people ask me, what is it? What is the perfume? They run after me. <laughs> it's true. It's like uh, something uh, magic. The idea behind this perfume actually is uh, to show them the, the feeling after the sex, the sweaty bodies kind of feeling. So, so for, for, for me, uh, this is a, like pure sex in a bottle, like really, really concentrated. Everyone, we are all different. So some of the, some of people I can see smell it like really light and airy perfume. Not my, <laughs> not my way of smelling this. This one is for me is like really spicy. Yeah, it have an airy, airiness, but, but okay. in general, it's much more spicy fragrance. Some people even can smell here sweetness. So a lot, also people compare this to Baccarat Rouge. Baccarat Rouge is more sweet. Yeah, more but soft, it, I, I think. It, yes, this is more sharp. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this was your choice. Yes. Okay, choice. So you recommend this one as a, as a choice for ladies for the concert? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay. Can be for men, for girls. Okay. Not important. So, as I can see on the video, a lot of people wearing some a lot of glitter yeah. on on the, on the skin uh, everywhere. So, when it comes to the glitter, to something shiny, to something something bright and uh, expressive, all my thoughts only about this fragrance. It's Herba Pura by Sergio. This one is more. Another one, favorite one. <laughs> yeah, it's, it, this one is a fresh, opens with bergamot, fruity, even crispy, then musky. transforms to to whiskey? Musky. Ah, musky. Yeah, it's overdose of musk here. Also, uh, it is a passion fruit with the peach, uh, mostly. But the pyramid is quite big, so... This is second fragrance with a really good longevity. Yeah. Um, what else I can say about this fragrance? This one is Italian. Yeah, and it's a, so beautiful fragrance. Yep, yep. One of my favorites. So I too. think that fragrance so, will really good match with a kind of uh, bright, colorful, or um, close, or um, glitter, yeah. or if you have a kind of with shining, shiny out outfit. It will shine with all your clothes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Another one, we just mm -hmm. get this, this brand recently, which just have the same feeling of something bright, kind of zesty a little bit. And uh, I would say like it's flower, not flower, fruity bomb. It's a fruity bomb. Yeah, it's, a, it's this one. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> it is a jadou. Uh, mm. The main note here is a pomegranate. And since this pomegranate made so perfectly during all longevity uh, of this fragrance, you can feel this pomegranate, this kind of bursting freshness, sourness of the pomegranate, and this kind of even a crispy feeling. So I think it's easily highlight this glitter or something like this. Yeah. Even though it's a more more dark collection, so it have a more woody compared to this one. This one is more musky, and that one is more woody fragrance. I even have a little bit of leather, 
So longevity of, of both of them will be really good. Projection will be really good. But a little bit different vibes. This one is more darker perfume. This one is more joyful and brightful uh, perfume. Yeah, but it's not uh, heavy, like it's yeah. fruity, good. Let's talk about songs, uh, like <laughs> the songs of Beyonce. And the songs of Beyonce, and, like in the show, all with the concept of uh, showing the femininity, beauty, sexy, Power of <laughs> power of femininity, <laughs> yeah, power of, like women power, yeah. So I think that fragrance, what's what's come to my mind when I think about this, um, it's a tecton mask for from Ramon Manigali. This one is a Spain. Another attractive uh, yeah. fragrance. Yeah, this one in uh, in the beginning. I don't need to spell. <laughs> <laughs> I tasted, I tasted this fragrance a few days ago. Yeah, so this fragrance is quite different from other one. It use, yeah, it's mask, but this one is an absolutely different different kind of mask. Really animalic, dirty mask. Uh, and why why this mask is different? Why they use this mask to show the passion? Like Spanish people, they are pretty passionate. And uh, to show this energy and passion in the fragrance, uh, you can you can show it through this animalic feeling. Also, this animalic and even like kind of a bit root and fruits uh, at Hello Raspberry as well, mm -hmm. as well. Root and root and fruits. It this feeling always give them um, impression of something punchy and repellent at the beginning, at the first sniff. But then you. I don't know, it's kind of instinct or something. I don't know the, why, why it works like this, like a chemistry. People come, people want to re-smell this, this scent. Because you can't catch it, you can't understand yeah, it. Yeah, you, you can't, can't understand this, what, what's happening here. Like, what, what is this? Why it's so dirty? And, um, and what is it? <laughs> yeah, and, and in general, all this dirty mask, it's a kind of seductive, seductive weapon, which you can use as well. And uh, another... And since we start talking about the queen, Queen Bee, this is a fragrance that is in my mind the totally Beyonce, just if you take Beyonce and made it the fragrance. I know um, she probably had the, her own fragrances line. Um, I don't remember. Like, like Rihanna recently launched. Maybe. I know about Beyonce, or about J Lo, about Rihanna, but not about Beyonce. Okay. She uh, she was like face for one fragrance. Okay. Or something. Okay. But I don't remember if she has her own. Yep. So I think that one is the Queen of Sheba by Atar Collection. That's a perfect embodiment of Beyonce. How she looks, how she behaves, extraordinary, absolutely confident in herself. And the uh, person who, how she, how she, how's this in the song? Who rules the world? Who run the world. Who, uh, yeah, who uh, <laughs> But uh, we spoke about the fragrance not yeah. long time ago. And yeah. it was a song uh, which we remember about the fragrance. It's a beautiful lyre. Yeah, yeah. I, when she was singing with uh, Shakira. Yep. So it's like perfect m matching. Yep. But uh, yeah, it's all the style, even uh, the battle. I, yeah. I feel the same about So uh, this fragrance is about tobacco, apricot, smoky, bit, bit mouth, um, mouth watering, fruity, but not over sweet. You can feel this apricot vibe, so maybe a little bit yeah. of peach. This, this is she. Like, I, I cannot add nothing more to, to that fragrance. So... If you if you if go you into the fragrance, to, yeah, oh, to the fragrance. If you go into to the, the concert, to the concert, you yeah. still have in, you, in your future. You can choose something from this line. Yeah, what's more fits uh, in your in your style? <laughs> <laughs> it depends. Actually, I feel most likely it should match your outfit. Yeah, and some uh, guys. I saw they was they was wearing something with a lot of bitter even on face, and I uh, feel like this one will be oh my god perfect. <laughs> Is it, I, I think if it's something more black with glitter, yes. 
if it's more colorful, Blush. that should be Herba uh, Pura. If you want to have this sexy, sexy outfit, yes. If you want to have like confident feeling, sexy, but, but confident in yourself, sexy, that one. And then um, if you want to be just Beyonce, that one. <laughs> if you want to feel yourself Beyonce. Yeah. So yeah. tell us your opinion in the comments. Yep. Or oh, don't help. Yeah. Or, or just, just do the like <laughs> and subscribe. Yeah. Thank you for watching and see, see you, you soon. guys in the next video.